Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. Now kids are out of school, so my day starts around 7 o'clock because my husband leaves around 8 o'clock. So then it gives me enough time to make his lunch and breakfast. After he leaves, I have enough time to take care of myself before kids wake up. So here as you see, I'm applying some henna. And actually someone asked me on my Instagram that how do I apply henna on my hair? So... I will show you later on also but I don't even have any kind of particular way of applying I just randomly put it on and that's about it but here I want to show you how I soak my henna so night before I soak some fenugreek seeds and uh, I keep it like that overnight in the morning I blend it with some coconut oil if you blend it just with the water chances are that once you apply on your hair it will take forever to come out but if you do it with the oil the coconut oil it will be really easy so i blend both of these things and on this other side as you see i do have the henna so in that henna all i have is the eggs a uh, little bit of mayo and that's about it and now i'm gonna add some uh, either you can add coffee water or the chai water here I have some coffee water so that's what I add in there and now I'm just going to add this uh, methi mixture mix everything properly and then I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my hair and uh, just because I have a time and I'm going to I'm planning to keep this on my hair for at least uh, four to five hours. So as you see, I apply randomly. There is no any right way, wrong way of applying this. And then after that, I'm going to cover that with the plastic bag. And now it's time for kids lunch. So today I'm making vermicelli upma. It doesn't take that long to make it at all. And uh, you can add any kind of vegetables in here. Whatever your kids like it, you can add it. So first of all, here in the pan, I do have about tablespoon oil. Into that, I'm adding some green chilies. And green chilies you can add it according to your taste because I'm not going to add any red chilies in here. After sauteing that just for about few seconds I'm going to add some vegetables. So here I have broccoli, green peas as well as the purple cabbage. Again as I mentioned you can add any kind of vegetables that you have in here. And I'm going to let that saute just for about a minute or so and then I'm adding vermicelli. Now the vermicelli what I have here, it's already roasted so I don't need to roast this anymore. And I'm taking about a cup of roasted vermicelli here. So when you make vermicelli upma, the only thing you need to keep in mind is vermicelli and water ratio. So if you have one cup of vermicelli, then you need two cup of water. And then I'm going to add salt to taste, let that cook for about 10 minutes or so and that's it. Upma will be ready. So while the vermicelli is cooking, I'm getting things ready for dinner. So tonight I'm making mixed kator. You can find this at Indian store. It's already pre-mixed and I actually like to soak this overnight. But yesterday I totally forgot about it. So I need to soak this for at least five to seven hours. And at this point now I'm using the hot water. So basically the process will be quick. And this is the other way you can work in the kitchen efficiently so that way you are not in the stuck in the kitchen for entire day. So while I was cutting onion and green chili for the vermicelli, I cut it already for the mixed kato so that way once that is pressure cooked when I'm making it, these two things, it's already ready. Also this tip I have shared many times but whenever I start cooking in the kitchen, the first thing I do is I lay down the kitchen towel and then put all the things, whatever I need to put it on top of the kitchen towel. So that way the counter stay clean. And the other thing I always do is whenever I'm cutting the vegetables, I always have this kind of plastic bag next to it. So all the waste goes in there. Once I'm done, I can take it and throw it in the garbage. So that way I'm not going back and forth to the garbage can and I can save some time that way. Also, 
for dinner tonight i need to make the atta so here i have things ready for the atta so i will quickly go ahead and make the atta so it will also have a time to soak and rest and all that so this is how you can efficiently work in the kitchen um, just because we are at home doesn't mean we need to be in the kitchen the entire day so as you can see right now it's 11 o'clock and the lunch is going to be ready in just a few minutes as well as i'm getting things ready for the dinner the vermicelli is cooked but as you can see there is still some moisture in it so i'm gonna leave it there for about another minute or so i always get question asked about my nails especially when i'm making dough or washing dishes so recently a few of my viewers commented saying ami your nail polish always look perfect your nails are always in perfect condition what do you do so guys i have a sns on my nails and sns is basically a powder nail polish i do have the video where i show you the process how they do it so that video i'm gonna link it down below in the description box but these are my nails these are not fake nail at all they are not gel nails or acrylic nails these are my nails and basically they just put the powder nail polish on top so you don't have to put your hands under uv lights or anything so it's much healthier for your nails and uh, it lasts anywhere from two to three weeks and yes it's time for me to go back but just all these things is going on i don't want to go um, but uh, yeah this nail polish it is a little bit pricey than the acrylic and the gel but it's worth it uh, I've been doing this for more than a year and of course once in a while I do give some break to my nails but definitely I love it and as you can see sometimes I just go crazy with the nail polish but I love it you know it's so fun and especially when I'm doing the kitchen I mean the cooking video I want to make sure that my hand looks presentable <laughs> so if you are considering then definitely i would say try it sns is really good So here pure vitamin C is all ready. Make sure you are loaded with the vitamin C especially during this time of the year to boost your immune system. And as you saw, it doesn't take that long to make it, so no need to buy bottled orange juices. And if you're not into orange juice, then you can always have a clementine because as you see they're small, it fit even in your pocket if you are on the go, so just to make sure that you do have vitamin C for a day and i always keep this on hand so every single day i give this to kids with their lunch now they are at home i do want to make sure that this basket is full with the clementine so whenever they feel like it they can eat it and also i always have the oranges so i can make the fresh orange juice and i've been using this juicer from very long time and i think i found it at the walmart but i'm gonna link it down below one thing i like about this juicer so i don't need to strain the juice you can strain it if you want but as you see it catch everything up here so there is nothing in there so make sure you guys do have your vitamin c for a day so here kids lunch is ready vermicelli upma orange juice and the pretzel so this vermicelli upma you can make it in pressure cooker also uh, just make sure the vermicelli and the water ratio is proper but you can make it in a pressure cooker just wait until one vessel and that's about it so this is it that's their lunch doesn't mean we don't need to get ready right <laughs> even if I'm not going anywhere I still like to dress up 
have a little bit makeup on because when you do that automatically it feels so good and when you feel good you vibrate that good energy so even if you are staying at home mom or now you are staying home because of all this craziness still don't give excuses not to get ready just have a little makeup on you know have fun <laughs> soon i will share my skincare routine because i've been getting many requests for that so that video is coming soon and uh, there is not actually that many product which i'm using but whatever it is i'll share that and there's not any filter i'm using when i'm filming the video or i don't even have fancy camera i don't even have the fancy studio light or anything like that all i do is use natural light so as you see behind me there is one window there one window on this other side and basically what you see that's how my skin is so you know i don't have any kind of fancy thing to make look things look nice on camera i don't have that kind of thing but i think when it comes to skincare it's all depend what you are eating and how you are taking care of your skin um, and i think the majority is what you are eating so make sure you hydrate yourself drink plenty of water and try to eat clean as much as possible so like salads and fruits and all that and uh, when it's come to product definitely i will share that with you guys but let's go downstairs it's around four o'clock right now so i'm gonna start making dinner i don't even know when my day went by today because after i gave lunch to kids i was sitting with them talking and then one of my friend called from india so i was talking to her then took a shower and what do you guys think of my hair now I really like it you know very first day when I do henna as you can see the color is so vibrant you know I like that and especially very first day um, the henna smell is so strong I really like it so that said let's go downstairs actually I was thinking about going for a walk I was like before I start making dinner I want to go for a walk yesterday night also me and raj aryan all three of us went for a walk uh, because they've been in the house from last four five days now so and of course i don't want to take them to any store or anything so i was like let's at least go for a walk and we went at evening time so no one was actually out um, and we just walk around the community we didn't go anywhere else so we might do that but first of all let's go downstairs let me i still need to clean a little bit uh, and uh, we'll make dinner guys remember a few vlogs back i shared that i got this from ross that time i got this mirror i always wanted to have mirror like this because i like to take outfit of the day pictures so when i saw this i was like it is perfect because the finishing it's it goes perfectly with my decoration here it is dull silver and i'm not gonna hang this anywhere because it is very heavy but uh, probably it will go in that corner so i also bought this stand because i was like now summer is coming i will be buying more plants so i don't like to keep anything on the floor so for that reason this kind of stand is good i paid ten dollar for it and this is my formal dining area as you see i don't have a dining table because i haven't found right one um so it's empty and that's good because i like to see empty space other than space that is filled with all the things that we don't even need it so i really enjoy this empty space so in this both corner i have a elephant so blue one there the white one i move uh, in the kitchen but on this blue one i have a plate that has all the lollipop as well as the chocolate now all these things actually stay on my console table but just because i have window there chances are it can melt so i move that one here so here i have dark chocolate and no one else like it other than me so that's good <laughs> and these are the vitamin c lollipop i got it from amazon and especially this time of the year you should be loaded with the vitamin C 
and when you have this kind of lollipop you don't feel guilty giving to your kids you know so definitely try them they come in many different flavor i i'm gonna link it down below as i mentioned i got it from amazon so the one that i have here is the variety pack so it has a many different flavor so here i'm making gujarati curry and i'm sure i must have shared this recipe many times before but i make it at least once a week uh, because especially if you have a sore throat it's really good for that and uh, gujarati curry it's like sweet and sour so you do need to add a little bit sugar not much just a little bit so basically all i have in here is uh, yogurt and the basin so let's say if you have one cup of yogurt then you need like less than half a cup basin mix everything properly make sure there is no lumps in it add water blend it so that's all what i have going on there and uh, yes i did add the salt sugar and just a little bit of citric acid that is limbuna pool um, so now i'm making tadka here so here i have a ghee and anytime i make either this curry or curry pakoda i always make it in a ghee because with the ghee tadka it tastes really good <laughs> So now the ghee is hot enough. I'm gonna add some cumin seeds as well as a little bit of hay, asa patita. Also some whole red chilies as well as the curry patta. And I'm also adding like about uh, three or four long. It will give just a little bit of spiciness, um, not whole lot because I'm not adding any green chilies, red chilies, nothing goes in here. As you see, it's very simple, but believe me guys, it tastes so good. Um, so as I mentioned, at least once a week I make this. So the kids are playing outside in the garage because I can't let them go anywhere now, you know? So they are just playing basketball in the garage. <laughs> so here I'm making fresh grape achar and uh, i thought it was recording but it didn't record so basically ye jo achar ki recipe hai na wo gujarat mein bahut famous hai especially during wedding season uh, ye banaya jata hai to bas aaj wohi aapke sath main share karungi aur ye jo hai na aap fresh bana ke khao to uska taste zyada acha hota hai ki ek aad do din tak agar freeze mein rakha to theek hai par usse zyada nahi to isme jata hai grapes कोई भी आप ग्रेप्स ले सकते हो ये आइर द रेड वन और द ग्रीन वन आई जस्ट कट दैट इन हाफ एंड हियर आई एम यूजिंग द ग्रेप सीड ऑयल यू कैन यूज एनी काइंड ऑफ ऑयल इफ यू हैव ऑलिव ऑयल यू कैन यूज दैट ऑल्सो एंड ऑल आई नीड टू डू ऑल आई डेट हियर एज आई एड सम आचार मसाला सो दिस आचार मसाला यू कैन गेट इट फ्रॉम इंडियन स्टोर इट्स ऑलरेडी प्री मिक्स एवरीथिंग इज इन देयर सो आई एड दैट इन हियर and try it first if the achar masala don't have the salt then add it if it has it then don't even worry about adding any salt but that's about it mix everything very well and your fresh achar is so do ready. try this achar recipe it is like a sweet and sour it tastes really good and now i'm going to go ahead and make the mix kathor so i already pressure cook it and now i'm going to make the tadka for it So here in a pan do have about tablespoon oil once the oil is hot enough I'm adding some mustard seed and once the mustard seed crackle I'm adding chopped onion as well as the green chilies I'm keeping very simple dinner just because all this virus and all this thing is going on I do want to have like simple ghar ka khana so as you see it's very easy to make but it's good for your body So here I add some whole red chilies and then I'm going to add this whole this mix kathor in there add salt to taste and just the basic masala so dhania jeera powder haldi powder as well as the red chili powder and uh, I'm also adding some kitchen king masala that is up to you if you want to add it if not just with the basic masala you can keep it simple and it tastes really good also So here my dinner is ready and this first plate is actually my kids plate because they don't like curry with all the things in it so I usually strain their curry and this is my plate so portion control is everything and I don't uh, eat roti I try to cut on that 
So I'm just having curry as well as the mixed katol, rice and of course achar. So now I'm going for a walk. I'm done with the kitchen and everything. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Take care of yourself guys. Good night and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.